I didn't get into drag until this year, actually. My first show was in February, and it's kind of kept going since then. If it's not out there, like, I need to make it. And that goes for anything. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want a wallet. Like, none of them are me. It's not, it doesn't fit me. It's kind of has spiraled from there into this thing where, like, I know I need to be creating. Like, I have to be making things or I am not me. My first drag show was at the Sex Club Sanctuary for an event called Compact. How did I find out about these events? Like, it feels so natural how that started to happen. I think I had another friend in college who goes by Fine China. I knew she was having these shows and these like drag performances and I knew I wanted to go. My name is Shenika Teus and I am a drag performing artist and a makeup artist. One of the first like big pieces was this alien zip tie top. I spent hours uh, putting 800 zip ties on this piece, uh, dyeing them, spray painting them green, and then uh, doing a photo shoot with some friends, uh, Neverland Images, who are, they're amazing. And so we're the ones who went out there on like a Saturday down to the waterfront by like Voodoo Donuts. And I just remember stepping out immediately getting stares and... I had a lot of reactions that day, joy, like people telling me like, this is an inspiration, like you're going to do things, whatever. And then some people who just didn't get it. People shouting crack kills at me, which was like, honestly, so funny to me. And I wish I'd caught that on video. I still take it off at the end of the day. It's not permanent. And it sort of lets me live in that impermanence because I struggle with that a lot. I want, I don't like change. And so this is my way of kind of working through that and accepting change and that nothing is very permanent.